Let me start off by saying how much I hate to love Panda Express. And what I mean by that is I tend to talk a lot of shit on Panda, especially when I see other people eating it. I do that because person like it's kind of like a deep dark secret. I, I I love Chinese food and I'm always a snob about it. So I always go, oh, I want the real thing. I want the real thing. But Panda is freaking everywhere. It is at your local mall. It is at the airport. It is at my school. I cannot avoid Panda. Um, so whenever I'm hungry, this is my last resort. I've grown accustomed to it after the years and I've just come to love it so much. And there's just certain things that I order only, but those things are so amazing. I've actually tried to replicate uh, a few things. I'll tell you what it is. I actually ordered it today, but yeah, let's eat Panda. My little secret, shh. Anyways, so I already took a few things out. I have the side here. Let me show you real quick. So I have honey walnut shrimp, which I love. Mm. My fortune cookie, remind me to open this later. Hot sauce. Let's see here. There you go. Does that look so good? So I got fried rice, chow mein. This here is orange chicken and this is Beijing beef. Beijing beef is my number one. Comment down below, let me know what you order at Panda Express, but this is definitely my favorite thing. This here is my second favorite, but they charge an extra dollar and 25 cents. I hate that. I hate extra charges, but whatever. I was craving it. I'll fucking deal with it. Oh, I almost forgot. Here, let me put this up front. I stopped by the liquor store. You're gonna laugh. This is a Bud Light strawberry. This here is a type of drink that you would drink when you're like 11 teen years old, hanging out with your friends, sneaking out of the house. Um, and then you'd be just like paying somebody to get this for you at 7-Eleven because you're underage. So this here brings back a lot of memories. I don't think this was around, but it's kind of like uh, wine coolers. But I'll be drinking that today because I've been craving it and it gets me kind of slutty, so I'm excited. Ooh, that smells good. That tastes amazing, guys. All right, how shall I start? Oh, I forgot to show you. This here, vegetable egg rolls. And my sweet and sour dipping sauce. All right, let's see here. Start off with the chow mein. I love their chili sauce. It's not like, it's nothing like sriracha, but I don't know, I think it adds a lot of flavor. It tastes different, which I like too. Isn't that funny? Panda's my dirty little secret. I don't know why I have to keep it a secret. It's like forbidden love. These packets are impossible. Hot sauce all over my food, and I'm ready to eat. First, I'll have this here, orange chicken. This v-neck is so slutty. You can see my nipples. Mm. Orange chicken.
what's awkward about this setup is that it's so high up. I'm actually sitting on a few pillows right now. You never get to see the behind scene, behind the scenes stuff, but I'm sitting on a few pillows. So if I, if I tip over, you know why. Hmm. I hear my dog, she's running up. Kuma, come here. Kuma, come here. Come here. They want to see you. Finally, I get to show you my dog. Purple lover, I have the dog out. Now, you can't bother me about it anymore. Say bye. Ah, anyways. If you guys haven't noticed, I changed up the room a little bit. As you can see, on my right, I put up some of my favorite albums. The reason why I moved my shoes is because someone commented about them actually. And I actually agreed with her. She said that it made her feel un uneasy having shoes, you know, with food in a video. It just it didn't work. And I actually do agree with her and I love that type of feedback. Um, I'm all, all about improving my channel and I love that you guys let me know what's up. I have no qualms about changing things if I, if I absolutely agree with you. So yeah, and that board in the back of me, I'll explain later. It's going to be just a little something for you guys since you guys have been so amazing. And thank you for all the subscribers. I mean, over 14, uh, 14, that's in the future, maybe, if I'm still around. Um, 4,000 subscribers, which is incredible. I mean, what more could I ask for? Mm. This hits the spot. Shh. She's barking. I have the door open because it's so freaking warm in here. Be quiet. Yeah, dad's filming a show, but you don't know that because you're a cute little dog. Mmm. These are probably so bad for you. I always drop shit down there. You don't know how much food I find there sometimes for my past videos. Get out of here. I love you, but get out of here. Did you see her? She walked out of the door. She's so cute. Let's have one of these egg rolls. This is so good, guys. I'm such a shit talker, but... Could you see the redness? I told you when I drink, they just get red. Not red, but pink. Mm. So,
Oh, I'm... This is actually quite delicious. It's so embarrassing that I'm drinking Bud Light Strawberry, but it is so amazing. I'm like staring at it like I'm gonna make out with it. I've been making out with it. But anyway, before I take another bite, I wanted to actually talk to you guys about something. Um, it's in regards to my boyfriend. And I know that a lot of people have been asking me about getting him on one of my videos. Trust me, I just wanna let you know I've tried several times and the answer has been no. But I wanna explain why he says no. And it's usually because I mean, he has no interest in it. He supports me, but he has no interest in it. But for the most part, he he struggles with a few things. Sorry, this made me so gassy. Um, he's such a brilliant guy. He He is a Berkeley graduate. If you guys don't know what Berkeley is, it's a public university here in California. And... Um, it's like the top public school here in the States. So he's brilliant. He was a valid Victorian of his high school. He's just so generous, so sweet, so caring, all that stuff. But amongst all those wonderful things, he struggles with just a few things. You know, he has struggles with a mood disorder. We all know that as depression. Um, he also experiences anxiety, social anxiety. Um, Here's the thing, when I watch other mukbang videos and people are experiencing their food with their loved ones, um, I think it's great. Actually, a lot of times I'm actually a little jealous. And with you guys as the viewers, you guys would assume that, you know, someone like me who has, you know, personality and I'm able to engage with you guys, all that good stuff. You would expect that my boyfriend would be the same exact way. It's not true though, he's not. He's actually the complete opposite of me. Um, as they say, opposites attract. But yeah, you would expect him to be just as exuberant, just as show-offy, huh. um, just as loud, you know? But he's not, he's not like that. I think I like him because of his different qualities. Um, I need that because I don't see it in myself. So I, I definitely need that to, to balance me out. But with that said, I do get a little jealous. You know, I think it's so great. I know you guys love seeing that interaction between, between couples. But I apologize that I can't give that to you right now. Um, it, it's, I've been with him for a long time and it's been so hard. It really has. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to admit it. It's been hard for me to to try to understand where he's coming from when he has his, um, his moments of depression. Um, it's very on and off. Um, for the most part, it's, it's pretty on. He'll wake up, you know, he'll have no interest to do anything. He, he's kind of hopeless. He's just, just no energy or no drive to really, to really do much. So trying to get him out actually to go to dinner with my friends is pretty difficult. And he knows that too. But look, what I want you to understand is that I choose to be in this relationship with someone who suffers from that mood disorder. It is my decision at the end of the day. It's not killing me. If anything, I'm growing from it because I'm understanding it, you know? I myself have, I haven't experienced depression. Who knows what tra tra tragic event in the future I may run by, but for now, I haven't experienced it yet, but it's, I need that. I need that exposure. I need to understand something like that. I'm not tolerating it. That's a bad word. I'm not tolerating it. I'm just, I'm learning day by day and I care about him. So that's that. I don't mean to be a lifetime original movie about it, but it's the truth. And I just think that People like seeing that, all the couples out there, like I, I watch, um, what's his face? 
Oh, how did I forget his name? His name. But anyways, he's he's gay. He's in a relationship. He's always with his boyfriend on the video, and it's so fun. But let's be real here. Not everyone is like that. My life is not like that. I'm with someone who's a little different. But I love him and appreciate him the way he is. I really do. I, I wouldn't change him. I really wouldn't. Um, but yeah. Not... It was a struggle back then, but today... I'm working with it. I get it. Whatever. We all have our shit. I have my shit too. You'll find out sooner or later. <laughs> but that's my spiel. I didn't mean to talk so long, but I hope you guys understand. Maybe one day. He told me, he's like... He said, ask me later. I thought that was really sweet. Hmm. You know, it's funny. Just because I'm Asian, I feel like I have to use chopsticks, but I really don't. Let's just use a fork. This is easier. Mm. So good. This only has 8% alcohol by volume. But there's something about it that really gets me like, woo, like crazy. Anything gets me crazy when it comes to alcohol. But I'm just saying this small little, oh, okay, it's not that small, but the can itself, I mean, it can get me wild and just about, half an hour. So we'll see how I do in half an hour. I love that fucking album. Madonna Ray of Light. If you have not heard that album, I mean, it changed my life. It, if there was any disc that represented me, it would be Madonna's Ray of Light. Just listen to it. It's magical. It's her best work. Um, yeah. Since this is my channel, I wanted to give you a little insight about me. So since I talked about my boyfriend, I wanted to touch on my past relationships as well. Um, I've been in three relationships, including this one. I don't count my girlfriend in high school. Yeah, I dated a girl um, for a week and she broke up with me because I wouldn't kiss her. I didn't want to kiss her. All her friends gave me so much shit. She's like, they're like, why don't you just kiss her? Don't you like her? And I said, yeah, I really like her because I did really like her. I actually did care about her the way I care about my friends today, though, but um, I just didn't want to kiss her. I just didn't want to kiss her. Today I have no problems kissing women. I love women. They're just so fucking beautiful. But in the you know, back in the days it was just a little weird to me. But anyways, back to the boyfriend talk. Um my first boyfriend, I I was with him when I was 16 years old. I actually met him through AOL. Do you remember? Did you use internet in the 90s? A O fucking L. My screen name was XX Funky X Monkey X X 
three. Because September 3rd is my birthday, so I used three. What a fucking stupid screen name. Stupid! But yeah, my first boyfriend, I met him. His name is Carlos. He messaged me, actually. We were in a 714 chat room, which is an Orange County chat room. He lived in Santa Ana. I was in Garden Grove. And um, yeah, he started talking to me, et cetera, et cetera. We were still in high school. He went to obviously a different high school than I did. But anyways, we were both very young. He was 17, 16, so it wasn't anything illegal. He wasn't 18 yet, but we met up. He picked me up, actually. He had his friend pick us up because we both didn't have cars. How fucking lame. Um, anyways, I met him, I and mean, then I, like, fell for him. He was this baseball player. He, was, he wasn't exactly out yet. I mean, he was hot. But... Yeah, I remember just like, it was my first time really meeting a guy. I First experience ever. I did lose my virginity to him. And the way I lost it was, I was waiting for him on his prom night. I didn't go to prom with him, but I was waiting for him at the hotel room in my birthday suit. I didn't know whether or not I should keep my legs open on the uh, open on the bed or close them or put sheets over me or I was a virgin. I was a baby. I had never had sex yet. I have never touched a pee pee. I don't know what the hell to do. So I waited all night for him. He came in at like knocking on the door at like 1230 or one. So I opened the door to the hotel room and there it was. And then we did it and it was so painful. I didn't like it. It was horrible sex. It was horrible. So all you young viewers out there who have yet to have sex, don't expect it to be amazing. I expected too much and I didn't get very much out of it. It was just pure pain. <laughs> Use your imagination. <sighs> Anyways, no, he was great. I absolutely adored him, but he destroyed our relationship. He actually, he cheated on me. I found out, actually, he called me and admitted it to me. He cheated on me probably a month after that experience in the hotel. And I was so devastated. I was in my room crying. I was listening to Avril Lavigne. Um, I have the CD, so actually I have it right here. Wait. Do you remember the CD, 90s Babies? I listened to this nonstop because I was so fucking depressed over it. Why does life have to be so complicated? Skater boy, what the fuck? Um, anyway, I listened to that nonstop. I was crying in my bed. I was so sad, you know? This guy was so amazing to me. And then, seriously, a month later, I found out something that just totally destroyed me at that time. I'm not even eating. I'm like talking so much. Okay, let's let's save a minute to eat. Sometimes I forget my show is an eating show. Like there's food and I'm supposed to eat it. But this is what it's like when you're, you know, when you and I are having dinner, this is what it's supposed to be like. We're supposed to be talking. We're not supposed to be eating like we've never eaten before. That's the whole point of this. Mm. <laughs> mm. Anyways, I want to talk to you. I don't like, I don't want to eat. Just kidding. Um, I would say, I found out a month later that I had chlamydia. What is chlamydia? It's an STD, my friends. I got tested because my friend suggested it. And it wasn't because of him, but he, 
But my friend told me, hey, if you're sexually active, please check yourself out. And this is to all the young viewers as well who doesn't, you know, if you don't have experience, please, if you're sexually active, check yourself out. Do it. It's fine. It's not, there's no, it's not taboo. You should just be smart about it. Be smart about everything when it comes to sex. Have lots of sex. I'm all about that, but be smart about it. Anyways, so I found out because I went to go get tested. I got a phone call actually on the... I think it was a Friday. I was at school. Yeah, they actually call you. They call you and they'll tell you, hey, you need to come in as soon as possible. They don't tell you exactly why. But I remember freaking the fuck out once I got that phone call. I had my friend drive me to the clinic and it turns out that I had chlamydia, which is curable, right? By antibiotics. But the fact that I had something like that freaked me out. And I said, I haven't hooked up with anybody else. I've only been with one person that was with Carlos. Um, and that was in like, that was a few months ago. Like, and then it hit me. It was him. And don't worry about me using his name because he doesn't know. I don't even know where the hell he's at. Long gone. I don't care. He gave me an STD. You guys should just punch him for me if you see him on the streets. No, I'm just... I was so devastated. But I think today, though, now that I look back on it, I go... It's sad because there's so much stigma around having an STD, right? If you're living with an STD today, people look at you a different way. They treat you a different way. It's not disgusting to have an STD. The circumstances are always different. You know, the situations are always different. I didn't ask for it. I got cheated on and look what happened. I got an STD. It wasn't because, I mean, right. Someone would say, well, why didn't you use, use protection? I get that. But at the same time, I'm not thinking my, you know, boyfriend was out fucking someone else or having sex with someone else. And it led me to think too, well, maybe he had it before we got into a relationship. I wasn't smart, okay? At the end of the day, I was not smart. And I'm telling you this right now so that you can make that, you can be smart about your decisions today. Just know what you're doing. Just know what you're getting into. If you are full, well aware of what can happen to you, go for it. If you want unprotected sex, if you know the consequences, I say fine. I can't change your decision. Just be smart about it. Just know what to expect. I have no shame sharing that information. I don't give a shit. My friends would say, oh, they're gonna start rumors about you. Bitch, I start my own rumors. Like, what the? <laughs> don't worry about me. I start my own rumors, baby. I have ruined Panda Express for you by talking about STDs, I'm sorry. Oh, in the same vein of that, if we're talking about relationships, something, someone brought up a concern that he had one of my friends, he mentioned to me how he, it's not really my friend, I actually met him at school, but he, he mentioned how he's having a hard time finding, you know, a girlfriend or something like that, or his soulmate, he said. And I told him, you know, I don't believe in soulmates. Like, I don't believe in that. I believe that there are many people that you are compatible with out there. Um, and there are, there's like billions of people in this world. You've only, I told him, you've only lived in Orange County your whole entire life. You're turning 21 next year. You've never been to, you know, you've never lived elsewhere. You're, you're only seeing your options here. Sure, there's long, long distance dating, but that's, that's hard too, you know? But I, I'm just saying that you, you've yet to experience 
the world. You know, what makes you think that the person that you're with today or the person that you're looking for is here, right here in Orange County? And that comes to say for us too, who are in relationships, what makes us think that, that this person is the only one that, you know, we belong to? Um, I know a lot of times we say, but I love him so much. I care about him. Yeah, that's a conscious decision. We've I love my boyfriend. I've made that conscious decision that I'm going to be loyal to him and that I'm going to always be for him, be here for him. I'm going to be 100% for him. But that is the decision I've made. But I know better that there are people, there are other people out there that I am compatible with. It's the truth. How do you think, how do you think you're getting into new relationships, new relationships after you're breaking up with the previous one? It's because there are more compatible people out there, but you make that decision. You base it off how you feel at the moment. And if you really, really, truly love this person, then you'll stick it out. So kudos to you. You're doing all the hard work. You're making, you're devoting yourself completely. And I think that's absolutely beautiful. That's the beauty behind, beauty behind relationships. That's the beauty behind marriages. We're strong fucking people if we're devoting 100% of ourselves to someone else. Um, but I told him, look, you have no problems. There are billions of people in this world. You will find somebody. There is going to be someone for you. Um, and he took that advice and he, he believed what I said. And look, you guys don't have to take my advice too, but I truly believe that that is the case, you know? I love talking about this shit. Sorry. We can have it over alcohol any day. You and I, oh, drunk. Okay, you and I can have this conversation all the time. I love talking about this stuff with my, with my girlfriends. We're always drinking bottles of rosé and wine, sometimes smoking weed. Just kidding. <laughs> But yeah, I love, I love this shit. I love that connection that you can have talking about this sort of topic. And back, uh, actually back to the conversation I had earlier about my ex-boyfriend. I told you I didn't know where he was. I don't know where he was, but I actually ran into his Instagram not too long ago. And I was looking at his pictures and I just thought to myself, you know, I was telling myself like, oh, look where he's at. You know, he looks like shit. I was saying things that... Uh, things like that in my head because I it just made me feel better you know that's what we do it's kind of like a defense mechanism we just we like to talk shit on our exes we like to look at where they're at and how shitty they are and how sad they seem just because we want to sleep at night do you understand what I'm saying we do that all the time but I think that's natural for us I mean I I can't help it but when I look at his pictures too it's kind of like the way I describe it is I kind of like pressing on a bruise, you know? You know that bruise is still tender, but you press on it anyway. You know it's gonna hurt, but you do it anyway. Aren't we fucking crazy? Are our human beings fucking crazy? Our minds work a certain way, but we do it. It's not that I'm still obsessed with him or still in love with him, it's just that I, I secretly like that feeling. I can't explain it. Maybe some of you guys can relate to that. But we always look at our ex-girlfriend ex or ex-boyfriend's, you know, social media profiles just, just to get a glimpse, just to see what's going on, to see if they're married or have a baby. And if they do have a baby, then you can get crazy. That's when you can get crazy. Just kidding. But anyway. I'm super drunk. Oh, before I forget, can I do something real quick? You know that board behind me? There's a reason why that's there. That's because, I don't know if you guys noticed this cute little drawer. I have something special. So in here, I have names of subscribers um, because I think you guys are special. You guys make me, okay? I want you to remember that. You make me. I don't, I just eat fucking food. You guys seem to like it. That's cool. That's cool with me, but. I, I really do want to show some appreciation to you guys, right? Because I do care. But anyways, I'm just going to randomly choose some names and what's going to happen is that I'll talk about um, 
whoever I do grab, I'll talk about them just for a little bit and I'll post them on the wall so you'll be with me in every single video I make. I'll post everything on that wall. You might not be able to see your name because it's a little far away and I printed out them really small, but just know that you're on the wall, okay? It's just something fun. I don't know. Anyways, first one. Of course, it is Kisses and Moise. Yes, they do have their own channel. They're fucking amazing. They're beautiful. Um, they cuss more than I do, which is crazy because I thought I cussed a lot. Um, but they're incredible, incredible, incredible. Their channel, they're so funny. Their challenges are great. I watch them all the time. Um, yeah, Moise is... Moz is my man, you guys. Um, with that said, though, I I watched their they watched my shows, uh, my channel as well, and I totally appreciate it. And I really want to give them some kisses and Moz. So love you guys. You guys are amazing. Um, I wish you the best. Um, yeah, I'll put you guys up soon. Next one. Yes, and there are viewers too. They did sub subscribe to my channel. I'm not looking, I promise. Let's swig. I try not to burp. Burping is like not ladylike. All right. Look at you, baby. I know where you're from. I know you're from San Diego. Look, I try to get to know my subscribers, okay? Can you see that? The light is pretty bright. A7 Okies 1990. You're fabulous. You're always following up with me. You watch my videos on your lunch break. I know this because you comment. You know, you guys wouldn't believe it. I try to reply to every single comment I get. I do remember. If there's a talent I have, I remember almost everything. Every person that comments, their screen names, what they told me about, what they talked to me about, I will remember. It's kind of psycho. But I think I'm more obsessed with you guys than you are probably with me. Don't obsess is bad. Because that, that means you guys are my fans. And I don't consider you my fans. I consider you my friends. We're equal. We're made of the same thing. Cells. I have them. You have them too. This is not... No one's famous here. We're equal, okay? Next. Oh, Gabriella Vaness. Okay, here's the thing with Gabriella. I love her. She actually introduced my channel to her sister. Her sister is watching it now. So, sister, if you're watching, hello. Um, but Gabriella, you little lady, I swear to God, you are. You commented on my first, uh, your first comment was on my McDonald's video when I was sharing ice cream with my dog and you thought it was super gross and I replied to you. Now, I don't ignore comments like that. If you think something's gross or if you don't like me, I will comment back. Normally someone would tell me to ignore it. I don't ignore shit like that. I will ask you until the day you die why you are talking shit about me. I just want to know. I just want to know. And if it's something I can fix, let me fix it. But if you're going to talk shit, I will, I will figure it out. I will bother you to the point I will, I will ruin your life. Just kidding. No, most people would tell me to just sweep it under the rug. But no, I actually have a genuine interest in what you have to say and what you think. I really do want to know. I'm actually interested. But Gabriella, I love you. You are amazing. You're always commenting on all my videos. Um, I just think you're so sweet and I'm so happy that you shared my videos. That is probably, when you share my videos, you guys, you're really, I just can't believe that you would. <laughs> I mean, I'm just fucking eating. But anyways, thank you, I guess. I'm just trying to be humble. I am humble, it's just weird. I act like a weird person when I try to be, when I'm like embarrassed or something. Anyways. Gabriella, you'll be up there with, with the others. The vegan noob. You had, see, I remember. You had Thai food with one of my videos. And you're from your, oh my gosh, I'm like burping like shit. Sorry, vegan noob, I'm ruining your little dedication because I'm burping like a whore. Um, you are in Europe and you 
had some Thai food with one of my videos and I love that. The interaction is important, you guys. Look, if you got no one to eat with, eat with me. Come on, come to the party. Thank you, vegan. Noob, you're the best. I'm not looking. It looked like I was looking, but I didn't want things to fall out. Anyways, I'll do one, two, three, but one more. My fellow Canadian, ASMR. He is amazing. He, his videos actually, they are very relaxing to me. I love ASMR. I think ASMR is important for me to just calm the fuck down. I know people get something different out of it, but for me, when I watch ASMR videos, I just, I'm put at ease actually in that chewing no sound. I know a lot of people hate that chewing noise, but I absolutely love it. That's why I'm doing mukbang um, to begin with. It's because I love that sound. And I know that people don't like slurping or slapping of the, the, you know, the mouth and all that stuff, but I love all those mouth noises. That is the whole point. Um, I mean, I don't really do it. I try my best to cover my mouth. I know someone's mentioned that before, like you shouldn't cover your mouth. You know, you seem insecure. I'm like, no, I just cover my mouth because I'm talking while I'm eating and I'm just trying to be, you know, I'm just trying to be polite. That's has nothing to do with me being insecure. If I was insecure, baby, I would not be doing these videos. Trust me. Um, but no, I try my best not to talk and eat, but it's hard. We do it on a normal day basis. Why are we acting like we don't do it? Um, but anyways, with that said, this video has gone on way too long. I do miss you guys. I will continue these dedications here. Maybe you see your name there, whatever, I wanna close it up. Um, but anyways, I got a Snapchat by the way, and I got Instagram, I'll put, uh, I got Instagram, I've had Instagram, I'm so drunk. I'll put the information down below. Please send me some snaps. I actually wanna do a Q&A next time on my next video. So if you guys send me some snaps with questions or comments, I don't care what it is, I'll, I'll go ahead and um, show it on the next video that I do. Let's do this, let's have fun. I'm, I'm probably, there are probably people older than me that are better with social media than I am. I can't even return a text message on time. Sorry. Anyways, love you guys. You guys are amazing. And I will, I hope to see you soon. I'm, the, the semester is finishing up for school right now. So give me some time, be patient, but I am going to get to you as soon as I can. And when summer comes around, bitch, there will be videos, two videos per week. Okay, no promises, but there will be videos at least one per week, okay? Thank you guys. You guys are amazing. Bye.